Hello, this is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming, and this is a video that I have been thinking of making for a very, very long time, and what do you know, it is finally here. So, we know that Titans are supposed to be highly self-sufficient machines, so what happens when you take the pilot away? What can the Titans actually do by themselves? Now in this video, I hope we're going to cover a lot of stuff which is really interesting to you. For instance, how can you control Auto Titans when you're out of the cockpit? Which Titans work best as Auto Titans? What game modes and situations is it better to let your Titan roam free? Is the Auto Titan kit worth it? Are there any tricks you can abuse to capitalize on a roaming Auto Titan? We'll try and answer all these questions, and we will also have lots of cool footage of Auto Titans duking it out against each other as well. So let's start off and look at the not so secret stuff, the basics. An Auto Titan has two modes, Guard and Follow Mode. In Follow Mode, which is the default, the Auto Titan will do its best to stick near you as a pilot as you run around the map. The Titan will not be able to take any shortcuts however like jumping down that big hole in the roof of forward base Kodai, so expect the Titan to take the least creative route to your destination. When being followed by your Titan, you can lead it with a pretty good degree of precision, and take it where you want it to go based on your positioning. Remember that it will always try to be closest to you, so where you stand within a building can control which side of the building that Titan will patrol. The other option you have is guard mode. You can switch to guard mode by pressing down on the D-pad on the controller, or some other button on PC, and press the same button to switch back to patrol or follow mode. Now the idea of guard mode is that your Titan will stand exactly in the same spot, so you can run around and do other stuff while your Titan looks after an area. But don't be fooled, this is a trap. This is because there is a pretty big design flaw in that guard mode will not move your Titan at all. Their feet will be more or less glued to the floor, and this makes them extremely vulnerable. Now I have lost count of the number of times that I thought it would be intelligent to get my Titan to guard a flag, or guard the entrance to a hardpoint, only to have someone land their Titan on top of mine, instantly crushing it. Which is damn easy to do when your Titan is not moving in guard mode. Now because of this, the only real use for guard mode that I see is to further control Titan movement when you want it to follow you as you will be able to pause your Titan's progress if you are passing through a lane where you do not want it to follow, until you reach a point where you can switch back to follow mode, and it will navigate to you along the desired route. Okay, so let's move on to shooting and abilities. So Auto Titans really only do three things. They can shoot, with very poor accuracy, they can use their defensive abilities, and they can punch stuff. At long or medium ranges, the Titan will shoot at any enemy it sees, and seemingly prioritizes targets based on how close they are, shooting the closest targets first. Now of course, some targets at long ranges will not even be noticed by your Auto Titan, and it seems to ignore pilots and infantry until they are a bit closer toward medium range. Auto Titans are pretty good at using their defensive abilities, surprisingly, and they'll usually time them well enough to absorb a fair amount of damage. We'll consider this in more detail when we break down the individual Auto Titans, so I'll go into more of that later. Now we noticed a pretty strong trend that when your Auto Titan is close to an enemy, it will just melee them. This is probably the most efficient thing that an Auto Titan can do when clearing infantry, so consider using Follow Mode to drag the Titan through a cluster of grunts, but just be careful of Stalkers, because Auto Titans don't really know how to not step on them. This love of melee attacks probably hurts the Titan when fighting other Titans though, as it will only melee and forget about all other methods of attack. So then, what about enhanced Auto Titans? Upgrading your Titan with this kit means that it will be more accurate, which is important, and it will also unlock the offensive and utility abilities of that Titan for use. However, no Titan will ever use a core ability, under any circumstances unless you tell them to by being inside the cockpit, which does put them at an even greater disadvantage. Auto Titans do however accumulate core ability charge as they dish out and take damage as normal, even without you sitting in that cockpit. Note that despite all of these upgrades, an enhanced Auto Titan is really not that much better than a standard Auto Titan. And although the enhancements will win most of the time when dueling a standard Auto Titan, this is not guaranteed because the difference in accuracy really isn't that much. 
We did notice, however, that when it came to hitting pilots, Enhanced Auto Titans could do it in about half the time of your standard Auto Titan. Because of this, I do not recommend taking the Enhanced Titan kit unless you plan to never enter your Titan. If there is any chance that you will be piloting your machine manually, then Overcore or an extra dash are probably going to be far, far more useful than this kit. So now comes the really big question as I see it, what Titans work well as Auto Titans? So my Bay Ion is pretty decent. Auto Iron is not clever enough to split her shots, so just expect a standard volley of fire from the rifle. Automatic weapons on Auto Titans seem to work well because they have a higher chance of actually hitting something. Ion is also handy with the defensive ability Vortex Shield, and she times it pretty well. If you take her chip and enhance the Auto Ion, then she will hit more with her rifle, and also use the laser shot, but with terrible accuracy. Still, if that laser shot hits, it is a lot of damage. The other thing that Enhanced Auto Ion will use is tripwires. This is great because she can spam them, and often catch pilots unawares. Because of this, if you are going to run around outside your Titan, Enhanced Ion is really not a bad choice. But, then again, there is Auto Scorch. And he is a bit of a beast. Probably the best Auto Titan to run, even without the chip kit, he seems to have some pretty uncanny accuracy from that thermite launcher. He also uses the flame shield to catch a fair bit of damage. He will use it in melee range to great effect as well, and seems to know that the flame shield is also for dealing damage, not just for stopping attacks. In addition to this, the fact that he has 12,500 health really gives him an advantage as an auto titan, as he seems to stick around for a fair while compared to a lot of the others. With the enhancement chip, he becomes even tankier, because all of a sudden, he will be able to fill large areas with thermite, which is pretty useful when most auto titans can't aim at all, and in most game modes where you want to use auto titans, you want them for area denial. He's even better with the chip at snapshotting pilots with the launcher, it is really amusing when that happens, and it happens more than you think. Now, I'm not going to say too much about Auto Northstar, and that's because she's bad. Very bad. She has low accuracy, with a slow firing sniper weapon, and minimal health, so even with the chip, she's probably one of the worst Titans to take if you don't plan on piloting her yourself. So what about Auto Tone? Well, she is also at face value pretty damn terrible, because Auto Titans can't shoot their missile barrage. And since the projectile size nerf to the 40mm cannon, Auto Tone struggles to hit anything smaller than a Titan. Now, there is a big jump up here when you do put in that enhancement chip, because then Tone becomes pretty decent at dealing damage to other Titans, with the ability to use Missile Barrage after acquiring a lock. Unfortunately, she rarely ever seems to use her Sonar Pulse, and when she does, it's never in a useful way or at a useful time. With Auto Tone, you have to pretty much take the Enhancement Kit every time, or don't expect much from her at all. Now, Auto Ronin here, he does seem good on paper, because his shotgun is really good at killing pilots, even with Auto Titan Potato Aim, and he is able to use a stronger melee attack to clear infantry and bash other Titans around up close, which is all that your Auto Titans seem to want to do half the time anyway. But in reality, he has such a small health pool that he dies way too fast as an Auto Titan, much like Northstar. In testing, we also notice that his enhancement chip really doesn't seem to matter for Ronin, as often the normal Ronin Auto Titan could beat an enhanced one, which we found kind of odd. I also don't have much to say for Legion, as both with or without the enhancement chip, he really seems to struggle hitting anything smaller than a Titan, and although his anti-Titan damage remains high, any actual player will have no trouble taking him down. Auto Legion spends too much time spinning up the gun for him to be that useful. Finally, we're going to have a quick look at Auto Monarch, which due to the automatic nature of her weapon is quite useful. Monarch is probably better than Ion without the enhancement chip, but Ion might be a bit better with her when it is equipped. Although it is important to note that due to the rocket salvo, an enhanced Monarch is considerably better at killing pilots than a standard Auto Monarch. So what does all that massive dump of information actually mean? Well, if you do insist on running an Auto Titan, I recommend using either Ion or Scorch. But the question remains, when is it actually a good idea to play outside of your Titan? 
Well, the answer is never in Last Titan Standing or Attrition. This is because in these game modes, losing your Titan comes at a significant cost to your team. However, in Bounty Hunt, Hardpoint, and Capture the Flag, there are objectives that Titans may not be able to get near or capture, so in order to win, you will have to be on foot. In these cases, it is still better to have your Titan follow you than to have it guard an objective. Any half-decent pilot will be able to slip past an auto Titan guarding a flag, and in guard mode, your Titan is far too vulnerable. Have it follow you around and use it as a distraction. Enemies will shoot the Titan, not you, because they will probably see the Titan much more easily, and when they attack it, you can easily take out the pilots that do so, or slip past an enemy distracted by your Titan to deposit at a bank, to get inside a hard point, or steal an enemy flag. And to finish up, and this is probably the most important point, I just want to say, please, please, whatever you do, no auto titans in frontier defense. Okay, so maybe it works on regular, but it is a really simple and easy way to lose the harvester on hard or above. For the love of god, please stay in your titan. Sorry, I just get a bit triggered by that. And on that note, that is pretty much everything that we know about auto titans. Please give us a like if you like this video so I have an idea of what you want more of and what you want less of. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to catch more from 4FS Gaming. If you have any more information about Auto Titans or a suggestion about what you'd like us to look into next, please drop them down in the comments below. This is Ascendance, thank you for watching.